Hi there, my name is Ed and I have recently, or recently is about past seven months, um, joined the interdimensional existence and wow, it is nothing like here on earth. Uh, in any way whatsoever. My first uh, experience within myself um, after I realized alright I'm dead here I am and this I um, of me was messed up pretty much completely entirely messed up um, and it felt like this wave of emotion this depression, this anger overwhelmed me you know my entire being so completely that I wanted to die and it's interesting because it is actually painful depression anger, experiencing that as your very being, your very, you know, my, my very experience of me, that heaviness of this deep core depression and anger and disgust and shame, because you really, literally, look into a mirror when you're in the dimensions there is not one moment of your life that is not there that you don't see you see everything and that is that was a shock beyond measure for me you know because I lived my life here on earth thinking you know not even thinking not even considering that I will one day actually come face to face with me and actually see every single point every single aspect of me and I've done things in this world of which I did not even consider others. I did not consider consequences. I did not consider any effect will occur within me in any way whatsoever. In other words, paying for what I have done or paying for what I have allowed, uh, paying for what I have accepted, me to become. And it's, it's not that, you know, you get into the dimensions and you pay for it. Um, no, you do actually. So, well, it's not a pay, it's a man, you know, standing there before you, for yourself, that's that's heavy. <laughs> Probably why the heaviness was there as well. And in the dimensions I was introduced to self-forgiveness. And this heaviness, this anger, this disgust, that was me. I was experiencing me as the anger, as the depression, as the disgust, as the disappointment. And 
it feels as though it goes in so deep, so deep inside me that I cannot get it out. I do not want to get it out. I want to die. I want, I want it to go away. I don't want to experience myself in this way. And that causes even more frustration. Because, you know, the last thing that I expected was to see everything of myself and also see the consequences of myself when I die. And everyone may perceive it to be, you know, oh, it's all right. Um, from from a world perspective, you know, from your experience here on Earth, you know, you might kind of go, you know, oh, it's all right. Um, what I do, what I say, what I act on, what I participate in pff, makes no difference. This is my life. This is my experience. Uh, this is me. This is who I am, you know, etc., etc., etc. You haven't died yet and actually came face to face with yourself. If there ever was a hell, I would define it as that. That experience. That That's how. Imagine. I mean, I'm just hearing at what I'm saying. I am that hell that I am experiencing. And self-forgiveness, that was hard. That was difficult. Self-forgiveness, really difficult. Because in the dimensions, you kind of see your actions, you see your words, you see your participations, and you know how it affected other beings' lives. Wow. Jesus Christ. In... Now, I was always this hardcore badass man, person, being, you know, not giving a fuck. I'd be the definition of ego, literally. Um, but shit, I never believed or even considered me to actually feel. And what is it that I feel first? Depression, anger, frustration, disappointment, and shame. And that was a surprise for me even. Um, in the beginning, as I've said, the self-forgiveness was hard, it was difficult to do because I didn't feel worthy of even forgiving myself for what I'd done you know, what I allowed, I mean, when I really see what I've done, not only to myself, but to others as well. Um, it took me a while to get the flow of it, you know, self-forgiveness. All right, um, I'll continue in my next video. It shows me I've got 8 minutes 37 and counting down. Thanks.